Hello everyone, welcome to another Wednesday here in the month of October. How you doing everyone? I hope you're doing good. Ah, it's been a beautiful week here in Lincoln. The weather is perfect, even though it is fall, and I try to enjoy fall as best I can, but I know what's ahead, and winter is coming, so enjoy these days that we have. Wanted to share with you a little thought for the middle of your week. Uh, came to me from the Gospel of John. I was reading through that in chapter 12. The triumphal entry has just happened, so it's near the end of Jesus' time here on earth, and this little exchange that takes place that I thought was really fascinating. Uh, it says in chapter 12 of the Gospel of John, verse 20, Now there were certain Greeks among those who came uh, to worship at the feast. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and asked him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. So Philip came and told Andrew, and in turn Andrew and Philip told Jesus. It was kind of interesting that John included that. Uh, he could have just said, and Philip brought him to Jesus, but he included the fact that Philip came first to Andrew and said, Hey, we got these guys here who want to meet Jesus, and Andrew brings them to Jesus, which is actually a bit of a theme for Andrew that we find in the Gospel of John. Uh, right when we first meet John, he's one of the first one, or when we first meet Andrew, he's one of the first ones to hear John the Baptist proclaim uh, who Jesus is. And then the first thing he does is it says, Andrew went and got his brother, Simon Peter, and brought him to Jesus. And that's what we find Andrew doing time and time again in John's Gospel. He brings Peter to Jesus. And then later on, the, the feeding of the 5,000, when they've got this problem, they've got too many people, not enough food, Andrew gets this little boy and says, brings him to Jesus and says, this boy has some food, it's not enough, but, but he brings him to Jesus. And that's just really cool. We don't know a ton about Andrew in the Bible, but what we see here in John is that Andrew is constantly bringing people to Jesus. So what I'd like to say is all of us need to be a little bit more like Andrew, don't we? I want to be more like Andrew. I want to bring people to Jesus by all that I do. And it's not just preaching, it's not just teaching, it's not just giving Bible studies. But can everything I do, can it be about bringing people to Jesus? That's what we want to do here at Piedmont Park, and I want to encourage you to find your way of doing that as well. This month we're going to do that with Light Up the Dark on October 31st. It's our alternative to Halloween where young kids can come and have a fun time. They get to play on bounce houses, have free food, free treats, but they also are brought to Jesus because in our rooms we're going to have Bible-themed rooms where they can do activities and hear Bible stories. It's a great way to introduce people to Jesus. I hope that you'll be a part of it. hope that you'll come to it. It's October 31st from 5 until 7.30 that night. Let's do our best, folks, to be like Andrew and bring people to Jesus. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Hope you'll join us this coming weekend here at Piedmont Park, a very special worship service because we have a baptism that's happening this weekend. I'm going to be uh, honored to do that. And we have some special guests who are going to be coming back to Piedmont this weekend. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm going to leave it as a surprise because I hope you come. Hope you join us in person or online here at YouTube or on Facebook. Everyone have a great week. Take care. And let's take care of everyone. God bless.